Hello and welcome. I'm Jason Albert and this is Jason Albert TV and this is a bucket hat. Guys, today what I want to do is I want to talk about how to pack your survival bag. I think it's essential that everybody have a survival bag ready to go. You never know when you're going to need to, to shit and get, as they say. What would happen if there was a zombie apocalypse, a nuclear apocalypse, North Korea invades, people go crazy, there's a purge. Many things could happen that would force you out of your home into maybe the wilderness, the desert, some unknown terrain, and you need what's ever on your back. I care about people, I wanna help people, I wanna show you my pack, how it's packed, Hopefully that gives you guys some information that, so that you guys can get yours up to date, get yours ready, so that someday that saves your life. So first we wanna do is we wanna talk about what kind of bags you do have. I typically, for mine, and I've had multiple, but this is my most current, is just a backpack. Um, this is actually by LL Bean. I'm not going to be putting any links um, to this. You can just buy any bag you want. But this is kind of your standard bag, I would say. You know, it's probably a size. You could still use this as a carry-on. Um, for like a flight or something. It's got straps. It's also got this kind of waist uh, support here you know, just to help your back. Um, there's a pocket up here and there's also a couple, uh, I think there's some straps somewhere. Yeah, there's like a strap here for like a canteen or, or a water bottle or whatever, whatever you need. So I'm going to go through the things that I've put in this bag and um, you can actually fit surprisingly a lot in a bag like this. The reason I chose a bag like this was so that I can get around and it's not super bulky, it's not in the way. All right, so let's get right into all of the different items you should be putting in to a survival kit this size. Here we go. I'm grab my stuff. <clears throat> Got my items, let's do it. First item that should go in anybody's survival kit is a fire starter. You are out there in the wilderness, maybe not in the wilderness, maybe somewhere else, you need to boil water, you need to cook food, you need to get light, you need to get warm. Every single person should have a fire starter. What I like to do is I like to take my fire starter and I like to put it in some place that's quick and easy, maybe my top pocket. Next up, maybe you're not in the wilderness or maybe you are in the wilderness and it's just all wet. You're going to need wood. I recommend a bundle of wood, but not just one bundle. I recommend two bundles of wood. This is gonna keep you warm for at least a night, maybe two nights. Again, you don't know how wet or how dry the wilderness that you're going into. Maybe there's no wood where you're going. You're gonna need wood for warmth, for cooking, for all sorts of things. So I recommend putting two bundles of wood in your pack. Now, just starting off, it barely looks like I put anything in my bag so far. This is what I'm talking about, guys. I am the king of survival kits. Next up, survival knife. Okay, they come in different shapes, sizes, you need one. Stabbing things, stabbing things, uh, whittling things other things and whatnot, survival knife, throw it in there. An ax is a great thing to have. Sure, you have this wood, but let's say the bundles of wood that you have ran out, you're gonna need to chop some more wood, an ax. Also, let's say this is a zombie apocalypse and you get bit. You're gonna need to cut off the arm just above the bite mark so that you don't get the infection all the way up and turn into a zombie, okay? This is so that you're not transitioning into a zombie. This is super important. Get an ax, throw it in your bag. You just chopped off your arm, all right? It's bleeding, you need different things. A first aid kit, don't be an idiot. Gauze, ointment, peroxide, band-aids, whatever you need, you're gonna have to stitch yourself up. First aid kit is only smart. Throw a first aid kit in your survival kit. That's how you survive. Next up, a defibrillator. Okay, people think, why do I need a defibrillator? Well, you just went through a tragic thing. Maybe you're going through cardiac arrest now, okay? Cardiac arrest, okay? People will be shocked at how quickly this will come in handy. Okay, and they do make portable ones like the one you see here. Again, throw that right in there. Guys, this pack still super light and I'm only partially way through. I mean, this is, this is the kind of pack you need. I'm telling you, I am the guru of surviving. How do you think I made it this long in my life? Next up, what you're going to need, a whistle, okay? Now, these whistles became quite popular with the movie Titanic. How many people out there saw a Titanic show of hands? Look, if you guys remember, Rose is on the door. Everyone else is dead. The, the lifeboat comes back. Is anyone alive out there? And you see Rose. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. No one comes back. No one hears her. What does she do? She sees a guy who packed a whistle, jumps into the Atlantic, swims over one arm, grabs it. And she's saved. Okay? Do you think you're going to be saved without a whistle? No. You need a whistle, you need a whistle. But now, you someone's got your attention. Oh, hey, 
you, you, you're, you're ringing whistle. What do you need? You can't talk, right? You don't know Morse code, so you can't use the whistle to tell people what you need. That's why the next thing you're going to need is a megaphone. Folks, I need help. I need food. I have diarrhea. There's a whole load of things that you're going to be able to say when you have a megaphone that people are going to be able to see. I don't know if you guys can actually see. I mean, these are, these are what you need. Folks, pay attention. Okay, it gets dark. What do you do when it gets dark? You need a flashlight. Obviously, you can't go anywhere with a flashlight. Okay, uh, hey, it's dark. We need to see, right? Flashlights, obviously, get one. You don't just need flashlights as your only source. What if you come to a flat table, you know, while you're trying to survive and it's dark out? Well, what do you put on the table? You don't put on a flashlight. You got to roll it around. You get a lantern, folks. And again, if you, if you find yourself in a cave, you can't walk through a cave with a flashlight. That looks stupid. You need to walk through a cave with a lantern. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Lanterns. You got a lantern. You've got it on your on your table, on your flat surface, on your flat rock. What else do you need? You need playing cards, guys. Playing cards. I know this is survival, but you guys need to keep yourselves having a little bit of fun. You need to keep distracted, and this is a good way to form camaraderie. It's also a good way to pass the time. Playing cards, solitaire, poker, spit, whatever you want to play. You guys know about spit. Hit me up in the comment section. Hashtag old school games. <clears throat> I always pack my pack with operation. I mean, first of all, it's going to it's gonna come in handy for when you actually have to use your real first aid kit, and it's just a fun game. However, turn the sound off if you are in a zombie apocalypse. They tend to be attracted to noise. Playing cards, operation, it gets old, it gets boring, it gets boring fast. So what do you need? You need something that's going to be active. I never leave home without a set of bocce balls. It's just, it just makes sense. It just makes sense. Okay, again, bocce balls, do it up. I pack them in the bottom because they tend to be a little bit heavier. Guys, look at this. Still have all this room that I haven't filled in and we are putting a lot of stuff. We are going to be safe. How do you know where you're going? You don't. GPS. Now, some people cheat and use their phone. I would cheat and use my phone. I wouldn't have a separate GPS system. So this might be actually on my person. <clears throat> Okay, let's say the batteries die. You have no way of charging the batteries. Well, what do you need now? I can't get anywhere. My GPS, my phone is dead. Simple. You need a map. A map of your terrain, a map of all types of terrain should be in your bag at all times. Or you could use an atlas, but learn to read a map, learn to read an atlas. How do you figure out how to get around on a map? Well, a compass, you idiots. Now, here's a cool thing. When I went out searching for my compass to put into my bag. I also, I found a set where it was a compass and a protractor. So I just bought the pack that had both of them. Um, so yeah, I think that's a great idea. So compass and a protractor. Maybe you see a plane, an aircraft, a person. You can't, the whistle's not working. The megaphone's not working. All these things you've tried aren't working. You need a signal mirror. I recommend a full length signal mirror. Why full length? You want to make sure you're still looking good on your trip. It's going to show you head to toe. Also, it's going to leave a bigger light reflection. A full length mirror. Now, this might be too long. Nope, fits perfect. Lee. Who's Lee? I don't know. Okay, we're walking. We're walking. We're walking. We're getting tired. We're getting tired. What do we need? We need water, obviously. Oh, but I don't have water. Look at that water. I don't know if that water is clean. What do you need? You need water. I recommend bottled water. In fact, I recommend a 24-pack of bottled water. That's what you should be bringing. But not just one, folks. You should be bringing two 24-packs of bottled water. It just makes sense. I throw them, again, I put those in the bottom because they tend to be quite heavy. Um, okay, I ran out of those. I'm still at the same lake. What do I do? The water's not clean. Obviously, a water filter. They have little ones you can fit in your pocket. Um, but I tend to keep this one, again, Super, super important. Put that up in there with the fire starter, okay? If you don't have a water filter, you, you ran out of your bottled water, uh, you should have a pot, okay? A pot is perfect. Uh, that's going to be good for cooking and for boiling water in, right? You, you need a pot. It's like survival 101. You can always put things, like, for example, I might throw my maps and stuff inside my pot and throw my pot inside the bag. That's going to be one of the best uses for the space problem, right? As you can see, we're starting to get pretty full here. We still have a lot of room, uh, but we still have a lot of things to do. Uh, you've got your water taken care of. Water doesn't give you that energy. What does give you that energy? That coffee, son. I bring coffee that I like. I typically will use like Dunkin' Donuts coffee or something like that. That's just because I like Dunkin' Donuts coffee. This is not a plug for Dunkin' Donuts. They're not sponsoring this video. They don't know about me yet, but America runs on Dunkin's. This is America, uh, United States. Uh, so coffee. Coffee. Oh no, how do I make coffee? 
And what? Bring your French press, idiots. <laughs> Obviously, French presses are great for making coffee, making teas. There's going to be tea leaves along the way, right? In your journey, you'll find different leaves. Everything can turn into tea, any and everything. Oh, there's a stick. Make tea out of it. It's just stuff in hot water. Okay, <clears throat> water's not working. Coffee's not working. I always throw a case of beer. Whatever kind of beer you want, I throw a case of beer. Uh, this is going to be a, just a quick little 24 case of beer. Boom. Okay, again, we're looking really good, guys. We're looking really good. If you guys are still with me, you guys are gonna be the ones surviving. The people have already clicked off this video, they're not gonna survive, you know why? They think they know everything, but they don't know an expert like me. I've got a f***ing bucket hat on, folks, and I'm wearing my signature black tee, and I'm sitting at my signature Jason Albert Extreme desk. People don't know. People don't know. Or maybe they do. Food, energy bars. They give you energy, and they're in the shape of bars. It's cool. That's not going to sustain you at all. So what I will need to do is I always bring canned goods. And you'll notice how many I have here. I have an assortment. I have peas. I have carrots. I have beans. I have spinach. I have canned goods here, guys. A whole bunch of canned goods. Those get heavy. Put those in. We finally found a place we want to call our home, right? Oh, we need to start farming. Agriculture. Agribusiness. Seeds, various seeds. I've got all sorts of pumpkin seeds, corn seeds, things that make vegetables. I'm gonna plant them, as you can see, I have an assortment. Throw those in there. Still pretty good, still doing great, still, still clutch with the survival skills. Okay, so I've got my vegetables taken care of, but I might need some protein. You're right, you need a fishing set. Folks, this is gonna be your, your, your fishing pole your tackle box, your things that go in your tackle box. Now we're coming to the part of the video which gets a little bit controversial. You need to protect yourself. You also need to get those big game items, those meese, those bears, those elk, AK-47. I hang my AK-47 from my bag so people know I mean business. Can't have an AK without the ammo. I keep the ammo in the top here. But wait a minute, we're in a zombie apocalypse. AKs are loud, crossbows are quiet. Bring a crossbow. I also hang my crossbow so people know I'm a designated BA. Saw a show with a guy with a crossbow, don't you know? He's still representing yo, yo, yo. They ain't killing him off. In addition to his flow with the crossbow, you got to make sure that yo have some arrows. Uh-oh, you didn't know Jason could flow. So yo, soft yogurt. <clears throat> arrows in my back. So I pull them out whenever I'm crossbowing. Tent. In a tent, you need a sleeping bag. In the sleeping bag, you're going to need a blanket, right? Because that's not always the, the warmest. And then don't forget... Sleeping on the floor is for poor people. Air mattress. God, all these things in the pack. People, it's getting a little bit heavier, but it's not bad. You guys should bring sneakers. You guys should bring boots. And you guys should bring flip-flops. Notice I didn't talk about any socks. I don't talk about socks because I saw a show one time where the guy was like, it was a survival show, and the guy actually didn't wear socks and he survived. So if he can do it, I can do it. Hashtag, if he can do it, I can do it. Hashtag, hashtag. Boom, clothing, what should you guys bring? Bathing suit, you're gonna be swimming, you're gonna be on the beach, and you brought flip-flops. Shorts, you're gonna need pants, you're gonna need a t-shirt, but not just one, two t-shirts. And don't forget, you're gonna need a hoodie. Now, you'll notice I didn't talk about underwear. Again, free balling is free living. Free living is off the grid. Off the grid is pretty much survival mode. You're welcome, a coat. I should have put that in with the clothing, but I feel like coats slash jackets are just extras, right? Sometimes I might tie it around. And this I think stands in a category on its own. Your favorite pair of jam jams. Folks, listen to what I'm saying. Heed my warning. This is not some conspiracy theory. Be prepared. You don't know what's going to happen. 
rewatch this video, write down what I put in my bag. Again, you don't need a crazy big bag. Once you've packed it up, buckle it up. You guys saw how much I fit in here. You guys saw how much. You guys saw that. You guys saw how much I fit in here. I don't play games. Guys, all that stuff in this bag, I can jump, I can run, I'm safe. Thank you so much for watching. See you later, crocodile. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow, and share.